Hi, um, storytelling classmates. I am Katherine Campbell. Um, I actually prefer to go by Katie Campbell. Um, so the first question is, where are you in the program? So I just started my MLIS in the summer semester this summer. Um, I'm taking 701, this 600 course in children's materials, which is a lot. And I didn't realize <laughs> that I may be a bit off more than I can chew, but I think I'm going to do it. Um, do fine. So we'll see. We'll see how the first semester goes. Um, current job, I'm a middle school teacher. I teach sixth grade social studies. Um, I have taught social studies for four years. I taught English language arts for six years. So I've been teaching for 10 years. I just finished my 10th year. Um, and I chose to switch gears kind of and go into school library because I thought mm, maybe it's time for a change of pace. Um, I chose this particular course because I also have dreams to one day become a published author and I hope to learn a few things about how to tell a good story. Um, my family right now, it's just me and my husband. Um, my whole family lives in Goldsboro, North Carolina, very tight knit, very large family, but they all live in the same County. I was kind of the mold breaker that moved away <laughs> from the family. My husband's family lives outside of Atlanta. Um, but right now it's just the two of us in Columbia. Um, hopefully some kids soon, but we'll see. Um, our pets, we have two cats that are named Cash and June. My husband had Cash first. He's an all black boy cat and he named him Cash because my husband's a Johnny Cash fan and Johnny Cash was the man in black. And then I brought home June and this little girl kitten uh, from school actually one day. Um, one of the students brought her to school and she needed a new home. So I took her and we were trying to think of a name and I was like, Hey, we already have cash. Why don't we just name her June? So now we have cash and June. We got a black kitty and a black and white little girl kitty and we love them to death. Um, my hobbies, I really enjoy gaming. This is something I didn't discover until basically as an adult, cause we never had game systems when I was little. So I have my Nintendo switch and I love things like animal crossing, um, the Pokemon games, I really enjoyed those. So I really like gaming as a hobby. Also reading, big hobby of mine. Um, interesting fact about me. Um, when I was 17, uh, I was in Germany. Um, and I got into a bicycle accident and spent five days in the hospital. Uh, basically because I was riding a bike that was too big for me down a hill that went like this <laughs> in an unfamiliar place. And I accidentally hit the front brake instead of the back brake and went doo -doo 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 -doo, uh, head over rear end, as it were, and uh, right in the middle of the street and ended up getting taken away. My first ride in the ambulance was actually in Germany. <laughs> um, so that's my interesting fact. Um, a great story about me. <laughs> so... Um, I've been a voracious reader for most of my life, but as a little kid, I was horse crazy. Like all my favorite toys were plastic horses. I love books about horses, everything. So my mom brought home this book and she was a, a teacher too. And she's like, oh, you should read this book. It's really good. It's called Misty of Chincoteague. And the basic story of the book is it's about these two kids, a brother and sister who saved up all their money to buy a pony. But there's a moment at the beginning of the book where the children go to the auction and the exact pony that they had been wanting to buy has been sold to somebody else before they even got a chance to bid on it. And that broke my little eight year old heart. And I was so like upset by it. I ran to my mother's room where she was laying in her bed, reading a book and I slammed open the door, bam, threw the book as hard as I could. It hit the wall above her head and made a dent. I was like, Oh, it just hit the wall and I screamed. I was like, I am never reading another book again in my life. I was so mad. And my mom just looked at me and she goes, I know the part you just read and I need to explain something to you. And she like very gently and carefully picked the book back up and, you know, spoke to me, calmed me down until I stopped crying. And she's like, look at all these pages that are left in this book. And you know that the title of the book is Misty of Chincoteague. So the story is about the pony, right? And the book is not over. Things could change. They could turn around. You just got to give it a chance. And, you know, I like had my little upset moment and cried. And then was like, okay, I'll finish the book. <laughs> and I finished the book and it ended up being one of my like absolute favorite books of all time. Misty of Chincoteague uh, by Marguerite Henry. Um, 
but yeah, that was my first experience getting my heart absolutely broken by a book. <laughs> and P.S. In the end, yes, they did get the pony that they wanted. So but that's a that's a story about me. I'm really excited for this course um, and to get to know all of you. And Shana, very appreciative of all the help you've offered so far as my school library track advisor. So hope we're going to have fun this second summer semester. Bye.